Bruce Hutchins explaining how to fit a Highland Reeds bottle trap. This, to me, is the most essential thing that we should have in our bike pipes. I recommend that you blow a standard blow pipe with a clacker valve on the end. There's a lot of other valves and another, a lot of other systems out there that you've got that I think what you need is just a straight blow pipe with a simple clacker valve that has absolutely no restriction so that your pipes are easy to pull. What I then recommend is that you have something in the bottom of your blow pipe or the blow stock that takes the hot air away from the chanter and down to the back of the bag. And the minimum thing you should have is some tube, of any tube of any description that does that. In this case what I have is this which takes it down through the tube and into the bottle. When it comes, the hot air comes into the bottle it starts to condense because of the plastic and it's colder. Once your breath, which is 96 degrees, you blow down through, comes in, starts to cool down, condenses, turns into moisture, and then the cloth absorbs the moisture. So you want to take this cloth out periodically, dry it out, keep it clean for hygiene reasons, but also to be efficient. To fit it, you can take the connector off, hemp it up in the normal fashion, wrapping the hemp round so that it fits nice and snug into the bottom of the blow stock. You can then fit your connector onto it and you have this system laying in the bottom of the pipe out of the way. Clear pipes, there's no need to tip any moisture out because it all gets absorbed within the system. Some people say that a corrugated system is not very good, but it's nice and light, it's flexible, it doesn't kink, and it also helps to collect moisture, and it collects more moisture through that system. Once you've finished playing, it is a good idea to take this out, let it dry, take the cloth out if you want to, let it dry overnight, put it back in the next day. But by doing this, you're taking the hot air, as I say, away from the chanter, you're distributing it to the back of the pipes and I quite often just play this system without the drone moisture system which I use only when I need to when it's a damp day and I don't always or have very rarely use the chanter moisture system unless it's really wet and damp. For more information go to highlandreads.com. Thank you.